Microsoft created the PowerShell for the task automation and configuration management. If you want to learn the PowerShell and looking for some useful commands to start with, then watch this video till the end and you learn such 15 useful PowerShell commands for newbie. Check the description and use the timestamp to jump quickly to the commands you want to learn. Before starting this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. To begin, let's know how to list the drive. Get dash PS drive will list all the drives. If you want to list only the drives with the file system, then enter the command get dash PS drive space dash PS provider space file system. Two, listing the files in the directory. Get dash child item will print the list of files and folders in the current directory. If you want to print the list of other directory, then type get dash child item space the path of directory. Three, changing the current directory. To change the current working directory of the PowerShell, type set dash location space, then enter the path. Four, creating a new item. To create an item, we will use the new item commandlet. It lets you create a new file or directory. To create a directory, type new item space dash item type space directory space dash path then enter the location space dash name then enter the directory name and press enter to create a file use item type file and use value operator to enter value within commas in the file. To edit the content of the file later, type set dash content space dash path space, then enter the path space dash value, then enter the value to be replaced in the commas. Five, viewing a file information or printing it. To view the information of a file or directory, type get dash item space, then enter file or folder name and press enter. To view the content of the file, use get dash content space, then file name. To view it in an external window, use pipe space out dash grid view. To print it, use pipe space out dash printer. Six, renaming a file or folder. To rename a file or folder, type rename dash item space dash path space location of file space dash new name space and then enter the new name of the item seven copying or moving an item to copy a file or directory type copy dash item space dash path space file location space dash destination space then enter the destination path
to move an item, type move dash item space dash path space current file path space dash destination space then new location. Renaming a file and moving to a new location. Type move dash item space dash path space current file path space dash destination space new location with new name. Eight, removing a file or directory. To remove an item type remove dash item space then file or directory name. Nine, getting all the commands. Type get dash command to the list of all commands. To get the command of specific type, enter get dash command space dash command type space and choose function alias or commandlet. To search command with name, use asterisk to search the command. 10. Getting help for a command. Now that you have the list of commands, you can get the help for a particular command. Use get dash help space then command name. You will know the syntax for the command and other details. To better understand the command, you can get his example. Use get dash help space command name space dash example. 11. Getting the list of process and services. To get the list of all process, use get dash process. And to get the list of all services, use get dash service. 12. To stop a process. To stop a process, use stop dash process space dash name space, then name of the process. To kill a particular instance of a process and confirm before killing it, stop dash process id space dash d space, then the id of the process space dash confirm space dash pass through. Thirteen. Get the list of Windows drivers. Type get dash windows driver space dash online space dash all and press enter. 14. Taking backup of the drivers. To take backup of the driver use export dash windows driver space dash online space dash destination space and then path. 15. Scan for malware. You can scan for malware using the PowerShell. The Defender will scan your PC. Use start dash MP scan space dash scan type space full scan or quick scan space. You can use the path parameter to scan to a particular destination. 15 basic PowerShell commands for beginners. We will compile some commands for advanced users in our upcoming video. So subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to receive the notification.